in this question, you have to write a program to input a mark. Always, I like to understand what my input is. So I have to input a mark obtained by a student. Find the student's symbol using the table below. So if the mark range is 100 to 80, that means the student gets an A. If the mark range is 70 to 79, the student gets a B. I think you understand it. It's quite clear. Depending on the range of the student's mark, you then get a symbol. So you have to output the student's symbol together with an appropriate message. So if the input, this is just an example. If the input is uh, 67, right, 67. Does 67 fall into that range? No. That range? No. Does it fall into this range? Yes, the symbol is a C, so your output should be the student, the student's symbol is, and it's a C. So again, you have to do a whole lot of checking. It's just a whole lot of checking that needs to take place, and whichever one is true, it then works out the symbol. This, in my opinion, is not at all difficult compared to the previous one that we were looking at. All right. So let's see how to code this. I am now going to... So there we are. Let's start. Let's start with this. So I want to input the student's mark. So let's call my variable mark. Mark is equal to, I'm going to keep it as an integer. Generally, when you got something as a float, it should be money values. So that's when you'll see I keep things as a float. This is a mark. Let's keep it integer. Input, uh, I'm going to say enter the student's mark, right? Now, let's put a comment, um, check what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna keep this open. I need to see what my range is. So the first range is if mark that I've just input is less than equal to 80. If it's less than equal to 80, then the symbol is an A. So there's two ways of doing this. I could display it immediately, or I could have a variable to store the symbol. But let's go straight and let's display, and I'm going to say the students symbol is, and in this case, the student symbol is an A. There it is. Mark is less than equal to 70. If it's less than equal to 70, then now at this stage, I'm hoping that you all, I've learned how to copy and paste. So I'm just going to paste, control C is to copy, control V is to paste, and I'm going to say the student symbol is a B. So you may be thinking, but um, how come I'm not checking the range from 70 to 79? I'm only checking if it's less than or equal to 70. Keep in mind what the previous check is doing. The previous check is checking to see if it's less than or equal to 80. So if the person enters 79, then this check automatically fails for 79, right? And we then look at 
the next check. So I'm just looking at my code and I'm just wondering there's something not right here. If it's greater than equal to 18 and equal to. And here I'm going to check greater than equal to 70. So let's 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 look at this again. If the person has 85, 85 is greater than or equal to 80, therefore it's going to print an A. Anything greater than 80, it's going to print an A. Now, if you have a 79, which is just less than an A, 80, that means this condition fails. And now 79 is greater than or equal to 70, therefore it's going to print a B. OK, so this condition, I just needed to write it a little differently. And then I'm going to go else if mark is greater than equal to 60. Right, control V. The symbol is a C. Else if mark is greater than equal to 50 I'm going to paste and it's going to say the symbol is a d else if mark is greater than equal to 40 i'm going to paste mark is equal to an e else if mark is greater than equal to greater than equal to 30 mark and f and finally below 30 means else i can just go straight else and the mark is a g right so if i mark like 56 is 56 greater than 80? No. Is it greater than 70? No. Is it greater than 60? No. Is it greater than 50? Yes, 56 is greater than 50. So it's going to print the symbol is a D. And if you remember, if you looked at the video with the multi-way if, the minute one condition is true, it does not continue testing any other conditions. So it does not test these. It comes out immediately and it's going to go to the print. Oh, well, there's nothing else to do because I've already printed. So it's going to stop. So this is one block. It's one statement. And the minute one statement holds true, you do not continue testing further. If all of them fail up to this point, if all of them fail, it goes into the else. It goes into the else and it executes the else. OK, so let's give this run. Enter mark, let's enter 90. Symbol is an A, student symbol is A. Give it a run again. Right, let's give it a run again. Enter mark. This time let's enter 45. 45 will come in here, it's an E. There it says the symbol is an E. Give it a run again. Let's enter 79. It's a B. And the last run. Let's enter 25 and 25 is a G. So this is how you would go about doing all of these many different checks that are all linked together when you are working out a problem of this nature.